Hi everyone, thanks for joining us tonight. We are going to be talking about stove kits. Um, for years, I have used the Etta pot, the Etta Express pot, with the Etta Primus Etta stove. And truthfully, one of the best systems out there. I'll, I'm not going to lie, it, it's pretty great. The problem is, is we cannot get this pot anymore. Now what I like about this over everybody else's systems is, Everything is contained inside here. I actually put an extra spoon, a foldable spoon, and a little washcloth in here in each, each one. But I have come across kind of a new system so that is actually able to be purchased nowadays. So um, it's the, and I'm going to say this wrong, it's a Berlin, which is B-U-L-I-N, um, however they want to say that. I've heard it done about 50 different ways. But these pots are online. Uh, they go for about $30 to $40. This is the 1.5 liter version. Um, foldable handles, the whole deal. It's called the S2400. Uh, and there you can, you can find them shipping from China. You can find them in the U.S. Mine got here in like two days. It was actually really cool. And I paid $30 for it. $31 plus the tax. Okay, so kind of a cool system. So... What I have in each one of these kits, we're going to start with how much they weigh. So, um, with a fuel canister, with a stove, and the stove we're going to be putting in here right now is going to be the MSR Deluxe Pocket Rocket. Okay, so that's exactly the same thing, same size fuel canisters, brand new canisters each one, and kind of show what we're looking at for weight-wise. So on this one... Um, we're looking at about 25 ounces. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but if you can, that's what it is. So 25 ounces. And for the new pot, and remember, this is a one liter pot. So there's not really enough room to do two full cups or two full, you know, four cups of water. Most of your freeze dried kits are going to be two cups of water or sometimes slightly less than that. So it works great for one but trying to do two pouches at a time, it's just not big enough, which is why I really like the one and a half liter style of systems. So for this one, bigger pot, now we're one and a half liters. So we're gonna tear it again and pick it up. Oh, let me do that one more time because I know that didn't tear right. So let's pick it up. So we're 29.2, okay? So 29.2, that's pretty reasonable. I mean, we are getting a few, we're getting half a liter bigger pot and it's costing us about four ounces. So is that an advantage? Um, in my opinion, probably not, but saying that we can't get the Primus pot anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead, we'll pull everything out of here that comes that I put in the system. Like I said, we put one of the MSR stoves in there a full and it takes the full you know uh 240 canisters or this these happen to be 230 canisters which a lot of the other stoves don't do like the jet boils and some of the other stoves out there you can't put a full canister in there which it drives me insane so kind of a pain there so we're going to go ahead and just weigh it with just the pot just to see you know what we got going on here, the pot and the bag, just like it comes, and the pot and the bag just by itself. So let's re-weigh those without anything in there and see if we get any difference here. So we're uh, 10 ounces for the Etta Express pot. If you can find one of these pots, they are great, especially if you're doing solo camping. That is a huge advantage. And we're 12 ounces over. So I have a feeling that the reason is, is because I put this guy in. So let's see if that solves the problem. If I take, if I add that guy and we get what was actually, that's probably about two ounces there. Come on. Yeah, about one ounce for that guy. So we're looking at anywhere from... You know, when we tear it all down, somewhere in the four ounces range over, it looks more like by the time we take out the little bag for the covers and the little stand and everything like that, we're looking somewhere around, you know, 
two to four ounces heavier for this system than with the old system. Now, what are the advantages and disadvantages? So I'm still a big fan of the heat exchanger type pots, and this is usually how you find it online. Just look up heat exchanger. So it has the folded rings on the bottom. Uh, the big disadvantage to this pot over the Eta pot is that it is not um, ceramic coated on the inside or non-stick. So this is just like the jet boils, which is why I hated the jet boil pots. But $100 for a jet boil pot or this one for $30, I'd pick this all day long because it fits the full size canister in there. And that really, to me, is a huge advantage over the other pots out there. So just so you guys can see kind of the size different here. So we have the fold over handles on the Eta Express pot. And we have the pop-over handle on the top for the lid, which I do like. I like the lid being off to the side, not a big thing. And I wish they would have took this fry pan and just turned it into a lid. And then made the pot just a little higher so you could get, excuse me, the full uh, two liters, or the full liter and a half in there. Now this guy, I really like this feature. It has a little hole in the lid, so it's easy to see when it's boiling. Fits over the top, has the little rubber coated lid on there, and the handle is the push. You know, you can push, flip it over the top, pop it open, has the handle out to the side. I really do like this handle over the other handle. Not a game changer on either one of them. <coughs> Excuse me. But a great system all the way around. So let's do, so we've kind of done some, some of the, uh, you know, measurements here. Some of the weights, and like I said, liter, liter and a half. So that's really the big difference. Now I've got two brand new, um, brand new canisters of fuel. So we're going to throw on two of the stoves, and like I said, I am going to be using the MSR Deluxe Pocket Rocket. I really like this stove. Um, it's a little bit more wind resistant than the other stoves I've used in the past. Uh, the one drawback to this guy is it doesn't hold the pot as well which is kind of a pain. So it works really well on the Eta, but it is one of those things where it doesn't work quite as well is because it doesn't splay out as much when I'm putting the pot on. So you gotta be a little bit more careful when you're putting the pot on, but overall it works really good for this pot. Now why I switched over to these guys is the consistency and the, the burn times. Um, this pot, this uh, stove is just a rocker for you know, setting up, and we'll be doing a uh, review on this guy to kind of show you what's going on. Now, we're going to do a two-cup boil time. So these guys will be two cups. Between you and me, this is city water, and we're not going to do all the measuring of the water and all that other stuff because it doesn't really matter. All the boil times you get, we're not trying to say that this stove is faster than this stove. We're just doing comparison between the two pots. So, we have exactly two cups of water on this guy. And then we have two cups of water in this guy. Now, what's really nice about this is you're able to get the full amount of water in both of them, but you're able to, on this one, do a liter boil time. So for liter boil times, we're getting about two minutes and eight seconds or somewhere around the two minutes and 18 seconds. So somewhere in that realm of all the different boil times we did seemed to be kind of the golden era of what was going on. And which ones were which? And again, that was, you know, 400 milliliters or, you know, two cups of water. So, all right, so we'll fire both these up and let them get up to full power here. Let them so we're gonna go ahead and put these guys on and hold on let me get the timer going here so as soon as I put them on we will start the timer here
Okay, so I'm going to try to talk a little louder because it is a little louder with the stoves. They're not super quiet, but as you can notice, the biggest difference between these is that how much smaller this pot is than this pot. It's a little more stable on the stove. Now, if you've got one of the original Etta stoves, it works really good because the, the pot supports are quite a little bit longer. So what we've been getting is about a minute and eight seconds on boil times for these guys. So just kind of keep that in mind. And about, like I said, two, two minutes, eight seconds for a full liter. Not a game changer either way. Sometimes you'll see stoves that will be much more efficient the more water you get to a certain point, of course. And some stoves will be really good with like jet boils that are two liter boil times all day long. Okay? So we're already, we're at 54 seconds and we're already at a rolling boil on this stove. And we're at a rolling boil just now at a minute and two seconds. Okay, we'll put the lids back on these guys. So, as you can see, very, very fast boil times. Um, really similar as far as, hopefully you guys can see me through the smoke here. Um, still very stable on the stove though. I mean, overall, it actually sticks pretty well, even though it's just at the max outside edge of it. So, like I said, about 54 seconds on the Berlin, and then you had the uh, or Berlin, whatever they call it, and then on the Ed Express, you have about a minute and four seconds, minute and eight seconds, somewhere around that on kind of an average all the way across the board. Both good stoves, definitely something I'm recommend you guys get now because they are, uh, you just, you can't get this guy. If you guys have this stove at home and you want to sell it, give me a call. I'll definitely buy one of these pots. I really do like these. They're a little smaller, a little lighter. But overall, the biggest thing is, is if you're doing cooking with them, they're ceramic coated on the inside, which means they actually do uh, have a nonstick coating on the inside. So if you're doing any soups, things like that, it wipes out really, really easy. When you wash them, they come out really, really nice. And the ceramic coating in them is amazing. Saying that, um, you get a little bit more for almost, you know, two to four ounces. You know, I'm not doing anything scientific here, but overall, really good idea. And the ability to do two, you know, about four cups of water. And truthfully, you get a little bit more than that. It is, it is a true, you know, one and a half liter pot, which, you know, six cups. So if you're doing things that maybe it's cup of noodle soups or whatever it is where you need a little bit more, or sometimes your different freeze-dried foods will be just a little over two cups, you know, maybe two and a quarter. This does do really good for two people. The other stove, that's going to be great for your solo use, or they're so fast. I mean, we just saw it. I mean, you know, who can't wait 50 seconds or a minute for the next person to get their food? So that always makes it really nice. They do have a nice pour spout on the original stove, and they don't on this, but I do really like the idea of it having... The little hole on top, you can kind of see the steam coming out the hole. I don't know if you guys can see that, but the steam's coming out the hole, which kind of tells you it is doing its thing. And because they're so fast, I mean, they just they just really are a, kind of a rocking stove, how quick they really are. So, as always, guys, have a great day. Thank you very much for uh, taking. Please like and share. That's how we uh, were able to keep doing these kind of things. If you have any comments, leave them at the bottom, even if they're bad comments. Tell me that you didn't like the video or what you'd like to see in the future, and we'll go ahead and go with that. But as always, guys, have a great day.